All right, ladies, I'm going to go through a little tutorial for my fitness pal. So I have the premium edition, as you can see up here, up top. So I'm able to do probably a little bit more than the rest of you would, but this should give us a baseline of what we can do. So you're going to go ahead and go to the bottom right hand side here with the three little dots where it says more, and this is going to go right into your profile. Okay. First, I want you to open up your diary settings. So you're going to scroll down to settings here and then click settings and then go into diary settings. In diary settings, you're going to scroll down to the bottom. So I also like to do this, right? Show net carbs, protein, fat by meal, track net carbs. You don't necessarily need that. Show all meals in diary tab, right? Um, show diary food insight. And then I want you to go to diary sharing. Okay. I want you to click that and you're, most of you will probably have it under private. I want you to actually open up to public. Okay. So that I'm able to see it. This will give me, it's an easy way for me to check in on your progress and see if you're actually tracking and then your exit out of this. And then you're going to move up into, I just have to remember where this is goals. Okay. Here you're going to scroll down into your nutrition goals here, where it says calorie, net carbs, protein, and fat goals. You're going to go click, go ahead and click that. And then you're going to go right into the percentages here. You can see up top, you can see net carbs, protein, and fat, right? Depending on your percentage. And you can find this on page 21 inside the transformation manual about how to calculate your macro and uh, for breakdown here right? Ideally, you want your protein to be around 25% of your daily intake, your carbs to be around 50%, and your fats to be 25%. So you can see that I can afford to go up a little bit in my protein and probably a little bit down. I don't like being that low, to be honest, down in my fats. Okay, then you're going to save this. And then you're going to have your outline here. I'm going to also show you how to add a meal. So if you go into food logs, I already did this. I tried to do a demo before this. Um, so I'm going to just show you what tomorrow is going to look like. So underneath breakfast, you can add food where it says blue. And then you can go into my meals. For those of you that have a typical meal for the day, you can create your own meal. For example, if you push create meal, you can create your own. So create meal. And let's call this overnight raspberry oats, okay? Then we're going to go into add items, and then we're going to go into what food, right? So gluten-free oatmeal, good. Let's do a third, let's do half a cup gluten-free oatmeal. Then I'm going to add another food. Let's go almond milk, right? Let's do half a cup, maybe three quarters of a cup, just because I don't like it too watery. Then let's go, I do age quencher protein um, as my protein. Let's do one scoop age quencher protein. Then let's add in some hemp seeds because we want to add some more protein, hemp seeds, Let's do one tablespoon and then let's add in some raspberries. All right, let's go ahead and do, let's see if it has cups here for you. So for example, if you have 0.5 a cup, half a cup, let's do one of those. That sounds great. And then let's take a look at where this brings me. So that's 30 grams of protein. That's amazing. 27 grams of carbs and 10 grams of protein, uh, fat. So I actually love this meal. We're going to go ahead and save that. Oh, did it not save? Let's see. Takes a second to just load. Overnight raspberry oats. So let's add this as a meal, food logged, good. And then let's go back and look at our food log. So you can see I've added a couple of different meals here. So I'm gonna add food here. I'm gonna go into my meals. So see the scroll bar, all meals, my meals, recipes, my foods. I'm gonna go to my meals 
And you can see that a previous meal that I've done, I'm going to push previous meal. It's very slow, sorry. Yep, this is one of my previous meals that I love. I do this as a chicken breast with white rice, with salad, olive oil, vinegar, and Greek yogurt. I'm going to add that in. And then you can see, this is how you track your meals. So if you're a creature of habit like I am, right, you'll be able to consistently know your breakfast, right? So you can see this. I think you'd change it. Yep, 30 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. 2.27 grams of carbs. And then you can see my lunch here, 48 grams of protein, 23 grams of fat, 50 grams of carbs. And then you can see up top here, nutrients remaining. So I have 122 grams of carbs to eat, 16 grams of fat and 47 grams of protein for one final meal. So this is specific to my macros, right? So you need to set this to your macros and then I'll be able to, on my newsfeed, track where you are at good. Let me know if you have any questions at all.